All right, so we're gonna use a SD card reader. I need this for uh, my MacBook, but what we're gonna use for the Raspberry Pi is the micro SD, and I always recommend a minimum of 16 gig. Um, you can go as low as eight gig, but you know, just give yourself the extra memory. It just makes life easier. Don't forget that, yes, you can, on the Raspberry Pi, add a flash drive or other things. You got those USB ports. Um, but you know, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide uh, my micro SD card in. I'm gonna click this into my MacBook and I'm going to show you how to format and get noobs on here so we can install Raspbian for the Raspberry Pi. Right into the SD card reader. I see here that it's labeled no name. All right, so if I go to my finder, I see it right here, and I actually have an older version of Noobs on this SD card. So I'm actually, just, it's perfect because you can see with information on here how we can we can go ahead and wipe this out. And so um, on the Mac, I'm gonna go to Applications, and the, the program that I recommend is this SD card formatter. And I'm gonna open this up, all right, here it is. You're gonna want to make sure that you have the right thing. You don't want to wipe out your hard drive, okay? So I can see my 16 gig, I know I'm good. All right, quick format. I'm gonna override this. I'm gonna hit continue. It's gonna go ahead and clear all this out. It's asking for my password, so I'll install this here real quick. Boom, it's gonna go through and it's complete. And now when I go to no name, you can see that it's now completely empty. I'm actually just gonna right click over here and I'm gonna rename this. And so I'm gonna call this Pi4, okay. Um, and I'm gonna call this SD2. This is the second one that I'm creating. So uh, there's that label right there, okay. Happy you're gonna go to, to wanna to head to raspberrypi.org backslash downloads, all right? Or you can just go to raspberrypi.org and just click downloads. It's gonna take you to this page here, all right? You're gonna click on noobs, okay? And it's then going to um, click down here. It's gonna start to install here for you in just a minute. And you're going to, or not install, you're going to download. So it's gonna take you here to this page. You're gonna click here, this download the zip file. So you're gonna go ahead and download that, all right? And when you click that, the process is going to start. It's um, about a two gig file, so be patient. So let's go ahead and wait for that to install here. Here it is. This is the zip file right here. Okay. Then you're just going to use whatever unzip software you use. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to open with. I use the archive utility. You use whatever you use to uh, unzip. If you're on Windows, the WinZip works just fine. All right. You're just going to unzip this. Be patient, let it run its course. Now, once it's done expanding, you're gonna have this folder here. Okay, in this case, this is Noobs version 3.3. And when I open this, it's full of files. Okay, it's everything we need for our software. So it's really easy how to get our Noobs onto our micro SD card, which is right here. Here's my location, all right? So if I go back here to my desktop, We're going to want to find that noobs folder. Okay, I've got it right here. Now we're not going to drag the folder over. It's not going to load. We have to select everything inside of it. So I'm going to go through and just select all these items in here. Okay, and I'm just going to then drag it over, okay, to my SD card for my Raspberry Pi. It's going to take a bit of time. Okay, it's loading all two and a half gig over. And then once this is done, we'll then go ahead, plug it into the Raspberry Pi, and install Raspbian. All right, so once you've got your SD card all formatted like we just did, we're going to take it and we're going to slide it right on in here just like so. There's only one way for it to fit. If it's just like this with the... The, the copper connection, the gold connection is facing towards inside the Raspberry Pi. So you slide that in just like so, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wire everything up just like you saw in the setup video. And we're gonna power it on and we're gonna show you what happens on how to get this all formatted. 
So once it boots up here, you're gonna see on your Raspberry Pi, this screen on the monitor, or as you see right here, it's gonna be booting up this rainbow thing. Don't panic, this is what you're supposed to see. And it'll pop up and give you an option here in just a second. There's the Raspberry Pi icon, um, the noobs is initializing here and you're going to see a couple different things here um, for us to install all right you've got the libra office if you want to add this here this entertainment center distribution and a full install of raspbian so we're going to go ahead and we're going to check this right here i'm not going to install this at the time at this time i'm going to go ahead and click install Okay, um, this is gonna let you know that everything we put on this SD card is gonna be overwritten, which is fine. We just formatted it and cleared it all out. So let's go ahead and uh, hit yes here. Okay, and it's gonna go. All right, after some time, it's finally loaded. It tells us that the operating system was installed successfully. I've got my language down here. I know it's hard to see in English and my keyboard for the US. I'm gonna hit okay. It's then going to reboot itself. All right, it'll power itself back up here in just a minute. And then you will be in business. You can see the four raspberries in the corner. That means it's loading and bada bing. Bada boom, now we can get into everything we wanted to do with the Raspberry Pi. So give it a second to load up here and then we will be able to move on and start coding, programming, building things, having lots of fun with the Raspberry Pi 4. There it is. And now here we are, the Welcome to Raspberry Pi desktop. So we'll take a look at this next.